Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today is another little tip and it is using your Mod Podge gloss to do a transfer. And the transfer we're going to be doing is with a permanent marker like Sharpie. Now Sharpie comes in a gazillion colors. You can use Bic, whatever alcohol uh, permanent markers that you have. Faber-Castell, um, Oh geez, there's just all kinds. Uh, what I did was I wrote the word love backwards um, because any words that you write, you want to write it backwards. So when you glue it down, it comes face up. So like if you wrote, um, you know, like breathe, uh, you know what I'm saying? I, I can't even, I got to think, thinking not on camera, but you see what I'm saying. Okay. So that's all I did. And then I took some Mod Podge gloss. Now you can use any kind of uh, thing you want. You can use regular matte Mod Podge as well. And I glued it down. I put the um, Mod Podge on the paper and then turned it over and glued it down. And you want to make sure it's dry. I can't guarantee this is dry um, right this second, but you'll see what it happens. Um, if it's not dry, you're not going to get that full, nice uh, word. You know what I mean? So you, you do want to make sure it's dry. Patience in me today, not going to work. So all I do is I like to squirt water on the back after it's dry. And you want to just start peeling that paper up. And you'll see if it's not dry underneath. <clears throat> Which, like I said, that's a, you know, you can get a nice aged look, antique look, grungy look, whatever you want. Got my paper upside down. That would help. All right. Pull some of that off. That's just the extra white. I'm just moving it very gently. Moving it off. You might need more water. So just spray it. <clears throat> and the reason you want permanent marker, <coughs> excuse me, is um, so it doesn't smudge. So I'm just letting that water get underneath there and doing my thing takes a minute all right i'm just gonna put this part in the garbage all those little and i'm just using this is just regular you know paper there we go and look And what happens? Get the rest of this off, throw it away. There we go. And you can see it transferred fantastic. Now, obviously, if you use watercolor markers, it's not going to work um, because it's not permanent um, and it will, it'll just come off. Um, but this is permanent and it works and you can spray more water. You know, you can leave it dry a little bit and then go over it to get, if you want more of it off. And I used the word love, you know, to transfer it on because, uh, just to show you that if you do want to work, do words, you can do backwards. I like doing these kind of things. They're fun, um, to add onto your mixed media and your art journal, even your ATC cards. Now, the thing is, You can draw pictures, you can draw, you know, whatever you want. So say you're doing a, I don't know, you know, a, a art journal page, ATC card, whatever. And you want to draw a, and you can, this is very thick. You can get the very thin, I, know, I can't mind her over there, the Sharpies or Bix, they come in different, uh, different sizes. Um, but you can, um, you know, draw hearts. That's why I do the heart. You can see I colored it in and then here it's not colored in, uh, with your, you know, you can definitely draw, you know, a, a cat if you want, you know, whatever you want, a Batman cat, whatever. Um, and draw those and then add those on in your own way. Now, what I think is fun with the kids is let them draw you know, let them sit down and, and put paper down or newspaper down and give them some printer paper uh, and let them draw 
let them draw whatever they want and then take a canvas um, or, you know, sheet of paper, whatever you have, and then do this, let it dry and then let them peel it off to see, you know, how it transfers. And then, then you have a piece of their art uh, on a canvas that you can then frame or whatever and you can hang up, you know, because it's part of them and it's something that they did and you can get everybody's together and that kind of thing. So this is so much fun. There are so many things you can do with this, but Again, like I said, this is just Mod Podge gloss and your permanent marker. So much fun. So many different colors. You can just do so many things. So I hope you liked this little tip. Let me know if you liked it down below if you have any tips of your own. And give me a thumbs up if you like these things and share me all over the place like I'm your loose friend. I love you guys. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.